Welcome back. This is Chili Davis, and I'm back to another video. I want to welcome back all my subscribers and welcome to my new viewers. This is a channel where we talk about my top stocks, and we also talk about crypto from the time to time. I want to welcome all my new subscribers. Thank you for joining me this week. I've had about 50 new subscribers this week. Thank you for joining the channel, and please continue to like and uh, share. So, um, Today, Apple surged over 2.27%. Uh, it was a lot of good news today. Apple is working on a subscription service for iPhone hardware. So that is so cool. Apple has decided to come up with a subscription model. Now, we know that the uh, telephone companies, T-Mobile, Verizon, have done this in the past, but now Apple is looking to do this, to cash in on this, having their own phones by themselves put people on subscriptions. That way they can get their new iPhone, new iWatch, new uh, iPhone laptop at a great rate and get a fresh brand new iPhone 13, 14, how many newer coming in the future for a flat subscription price. So that is coming. Apple is working on that. And we saw the stock jump over 2.2%. 7% on the day. And if we look at the last week, this baby is rocketing up. The stock is up over 8.56 over the last month. Uh, as you can see, it dipped back on March 9th. It, it sunk to its lowest on March 14th, and then it took off. Now, we did have the Apple conference just a few weeks ago where they announced new products. So this is why I tell people, buy Apple. And on top of that, they love paying a 0.51% dividend. So you don't lose with Apple. Again, Apple was up 2% today, um, just making big moves, uh, talking about a subscription model. So you can get your new Apple device every two years, the most current device with the most uh, frequent features that you all love to have. Okay, so Apple was up today 2.26% on the day. Now, let me get over to uh, CNBC. As you can see, the Dow Industrial Rally today up 1%. And again, remember, anything over 1% is always good. It says Dow rallies 300 points. NASDAQ gains 1.9% as chip stocks lead the market rebound. So that is great news. Also, we had Joe Biden talk about his response to the Ukraine conflict. Uh, he's over in uh, Brussels, Germany, speaking, and he's confident. He's steering the boat. He's saying, hey, we're ready to stand with NATO and He's trying to make it happen. So we'll see what happens. But the headline news is Dow rallies 300 points. Uh, and of course, the iPhone subscription I just covered. OK, so let me get to the Robin Hood. Robin Hood portfolio was up 1.37 percent. So that is great. Uh, we had a number of stocks uh, jump today. Google, uh, Google B shares were up 2.37 percent. Uh, Nucor, uh, ticker symbol NUE, Nucor continued. The steelmaker was up 4.29%. Uh, the Revolve Group RVLV ticker was up 4.16. And NVIDIA was up 9.62. Now, if you watch my videos all week long, you know that I've been encouraging everybody to buy NVIDIA, okay? or buy AMD, or buy Marvel Technology. We have a supply chain problem. And every device we use, whether it's cell phone, car, all use chips. Data centers use chips. So again, uh, NVIDIA is up 9.62%. Red Hot Fire. Uh, what else do we have today? Uh, in AMD, right behind it, uh, up 5.56%. So AMD was up again today. Like I said, buy the chips. It's really simple. 
The chip stocks have been up over 40% over the last year since June of last year. Till now, the chip stocks have been up 40%. You really can't beat that in this type of market, okay? So 40%, that's pretty good in over a year's time, okay? So AMD and NVIDIA were my top stocks today. Great job by NVIDIA. They also made a presentation this week about future products they were going to be offering, offered by the CEO. He did a great presentation. So check that out. NVIDIA, again, was up 9.62%. Again, NVIDIA is a favorite of Jim Cramer, okay? That's all Jim Cramer talks about. He has a dog named NVIDIA, okay? And uh, I would have a dog named NVIDIA too had I got on the train earlier, okay? Uh, I was with NVIDIA when it was $40, and today it's trading a little over $281. So, again, I should have bought way more NVIDIA, and I kind of missed the boat on that, okay? Uh, what else do we have? Walmart is increasing its dividend uh, $0.256 cent per share, okay? So if you're a Walmart investor... Uh, or you were thinking about buying it to Walmart, that's a good reason they're increasing their dividend, okay? Uh, ConocoPhillips plans to sales of Texas and Oklahoma at gas asset sources say, okay? And why AMD and Micron shares are trading higher today, okay? So we had AMD, NVIDIA, NMU, okay, Micron, we're all up today. Okay, so that was my update there. Now let me go to my other portfolio. As you can see, very similar, up 1.47%, almost matching the uh, Robinhood. So the top stock of the day was Tesla, made a little over 200. Second stock was AMD, made a little over 100. And last stock was NVIDIA, uh, almost uh, $98 there. Uh, and then Apple was right there, too. Uh, I don't have a large enough position in Apple, but they were up 2%, as you can see. So uh, a little over $400 between those three, four stocks. That's a good deal. Okay, so those were the top stock, Tesla, AMD, NVIDIA, and Apple. Okay, and then also, I don't want to forget this one, Cleveland Cliffs. Uh, the Build Back Better story is still red hot. Cleveland Cliffs jumped from $29 per share to $32 per share. Again, I've been harping on this whole iron and steel thing. If you look at my Instagram channel and you go back through here, I uh, posted today Cleveland Cliffs X. Uh, last week, I posted Cleveland Cliffs. Uh, you know, pretty much I've been posting new core Cleveland Cliffs for the last week or so. Uh, X Cleveland Cliffs. So pretty much both are part of the Biden's Build Back Better plan. Okay. So Biden Build Back Better plan requires us to have steel and iron. Okay. Both of them are steel producers. And when we look at the other stock, uh, Nucor, Nucor is up big today too. So this is what they're doing. They've got all these, you know, big government initiatives, Nucor, Cleveland Cliffs, all doing well. All those stocks are rallying during this time of war, okay? So that's how they're getting it in. All right, so they're buying up Nucor, CLF, and X as the Build Back Better plan. It'll probably come out next year, the bill be signed. Uh, but anyway, the stocks are rallying. There's a shortage of steel and other commodities such as United Steel, CLF, and Nucor. So again, those three stocks are very powerful. And over the last three weeks, they've been up a lot, okay? So uh, that's just something I want you to think about. And let's look at the top day gainers. I think one of them was CLF. Okay, CLF was the top at 11.49%. Uh, I did buy some more CLF today. I said, what the heck, might as well buy some more. Um, NVIDIA was in second place. Uh, Marvell, Marvell Technologies, another chip stock was up 7%. Okay, so these were good stocks. If you did an option call, 
uh, you probably could have made a lot of money on CLF and NVIDIA. I would say a lot of people did make money on NVIDIA on option calls because that was sort of obvious, but CLF wasn't as obvious, okay? So um, that's one way you can make money, day trading in the stock market by doing options, doing puts or calls, okay? You do calls uh, when the stock goes up, and you do puts for when the stock, when you think the stock will fall, okay? So that was interesting today. Um, those were great stock movements today, CLF and NVIDIA up there around 10% move in one day. Okay, awesome. Now let's take a look to see if there was an opportunities. And of course there was opportunities because everything was not green today, okay? We saw COP uh, cool off today, uh, still trading above $100, wow. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, Bank of America. And like I said, this thing can still get the $50 once the market starts moving. Uh, it's traded at $43 today. Uh, what else? Um, oh, American Express still red hot. Um, nope, Regis is still there. Uh, still opportune. Uh, with Apple, I mean, you really want a pullback to come. I mean, I've been talking about this stock for about a month now, but if you're going to buy in now, I'd wait for it to pull back to say 160 or 159 or something. Uh, but that still could be an opportunity. If you don't have a position in Apple, I don't know what to say about it. I mean, this thing has been ripping uh, for the last few days and it was in, it stayed at like 150 for like three weeks. So again, Apple uh, again is up. As you, if you look at the chart, you can see it, it, it's just been up, okay? We look, let's look at the three month, okay? Uh, let's look at the month chart, okay? So right here, and, and Apple took off, all right? Right around there, about 315, Apple took off, okay? And that's when they had a demo of some sort about new products and service they were coming out, right around 315, it just been going up and up and up. And we know that Apple is a high demand product, okay? So I'll... So that was an opportunity today, Apple. Uh, if you don't have a position, I still look into it. JP Morgan trading under $150. There's still opportunity there. Uh, but overall, great day in the stock market. A lot of green. Even Microsoft's above $300. But we know it can go to $350 per share, okay? So that's it. My top stock, again, was Tesla today. It reached $1,000. And one eleven dollars. Uh, it was a great day in the market. Like I said, uh, Tesla is surging for the seventh day in a row. Uh, they, like I said, they have great things going on, uh, and they are leading the charge for the new EV market. So Tesla made a little over two hundred, and AMD and Nvidia. They call this the tan. T-A-N. So those are the top three technical tech stocks of the last year since June. Uh, they've been up 40% on average. Okay, so up 40% between Tesla, AMD, and NVIDIA. So that's all I wanted to share today. I wanted to thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please like, share, and don't forget to get your free share from Robinhood. I have the link below. And everybody have a great evening.